object in Athens is made of clay and the letters are gouged into it. As you rotate the object, you will see that some of the letters are in red and some of them are in blue. The letters that are in red are palindromic, that is to say that they are visually correct uh, whether you scan them from right to left or left to right. The letters in blue, although not palindromic, are able to reorientate. As you look at the K on the top, you can see that it's now facing in a right to left direction. But as the object rotates round, you can see that the K is now reorientating itself to face from left to right. Uh, this is the same alphabet but laid out flat. There are only two letters in the Greek alphabet which will not reorientate. One is the P, which is actually an R in Greek, and the other is the gamma, which is uh, an upside down L. Uh, those are the only two letters in the Greek alphabet that will not reorientate which means that this alphabet is so flexible and it has been designed in such a way as to um, be able to be visually correct in a left to right direction and also in a right to left direc direction uh, so it can be read in both directions and be visually correct. Uh, there are about 600 blocks. It is the largest surviving piece of Bostrophedon uh, in Greece. And as you can see from the text, one line runs from left to right and the next line from right to left. This is another piece of Bostrophedon which is also in the Greek Museum in Athens. And as you pick out the lettering from this, you can see that they are basically Venetian letters that have been adopted to write Greek. This is the, the modern Greek alphabet. First of all, in a right to left direction, as Greek was originally written from right to left, uh, from 1000 BC up to 800 BC, at which point they introduced Bostrophedon, changing the direction uh, for alternate lines, uh, one from right to left, the next from left to right, and eventually in 500 BC, they uh, settled for a left to right direction for their text, which is how it remains today. Thank you for watching.